Hi guys, Eamon here, uh, Infrared Heating Ireland. So questions are coming up recently about how to set up and use your controller. So I just want to give you an idea of how I use my controller. So this is one of my bedrooms in the house here. And you can see that it is uh, evening time, 1952. And the current room temperature is 19.4. That's the big symbol here, 19.4. And the temperature I want to achieve is 19 degrees so did you see what happened when i done that so the first thing is how, how the display on the screen so you can either have the wattage or the percentage so i choose to have it set up as wattage visible so let us just have a look at the screen so this 108 watts what does that mean so 108 watts means that because the room is now up to temperature, it's averaging 108 watts to maintain that temperature within the room. So in the background, the regulator here, through its software, is clicking in and clicking out the heater. So the heater behind me on the ceiling will be reduced in heat from the panel according with what is happening here. So let's have a look at this so if i increase the temperature to 19 20 degrees this now jumps to 644 that means that it's going to average 644 units to bring this temperature from 19.5 up to 20. so as that increases this percentage symbol will reduce so people ask how does the ir sun regulator actually work and that's how it works the panel is either on or off but when the panel is spec correctly to the room size that percentage will, yeah, if you're always working at 100%, um, it means that the panel is not on long enough or with the outside temperature being so low these last uh, week, it means your panel is possibly working overtime because the panel is spec to the size of the room. So let's have a look at um, a couple of the features on the controller. Well, the first thing you need to do is to be able to monitor the energy consumption, you need to go in and ensure that uh, additional settings and heating power. So this panel I have here in this bedroom is 750 watts. So that means then that I can increase or decrease. So we have a 300 watt, 600 watt, uh, 750, 900 and 1050. So um, when we go back in here then, um, we can go into settings, we can go into consumption. So this will give you an idea of what my bedroom here is using in the house every day. So you can see the date here. So on the app, it, you can put in what you pay for power and it'll give you, but on the regulator controller, uh, it'll just tell you how many units you've used. So today I've used two units so far. Um, the 11th, yesterday I used 2.7 and so on, so on. So that'll give you an idea. If I go into month, I can see that for November, I've used 50 units of electricity. So 50 units of electricity at 30 cent per unit, this is what I'm paying 30 cent per unit, is 15 euros. So last month I spent 15 euros heating this room. And this month so far, I've used 21 units of electricity. Um, now, people might say, oh, I'm spending a lot more than that. But understandably, look, I've spent here a lot of money on insulation and I expect then that because I've spent money on insulation, that I'm going to have less running costs. If you have a property with lower level of insulation, well, you haven't spent on insulation, or you don't want to spend or it's too costly. So therefore, you have to accept that it's going to spend, it's going to cost a bit more to heat your home than mine. But this is just an example. Um, and this is very good. So I have a couple of bedrooms, and this is kind of the energy consumption I'm seeing using the IR Sun regulator. So um, what else would we look at here? Um, so you can see what else on the screen. Um, the It's connected to Wi-Fi. I, it's currently in manual mode. So if I go in here and go back to schedule, um, the it's now actually turned off because it's currently 19.8 in the room and the set temperature is 19 and it's using no watts. One more thing I want to show you. See if you go in here, you can have uh, an eco button or a comfort button. I prefer to use the comfort button. If I hit the comfort button, I have this set for 59 minutes at a higher temperature. So what I've done here is I'm gonna hold in this and I can set the time 
So I'll set, adjust the time. So I can adjust that time there and then adjust the temperature. So a boost is that if I'm passing the room, I want to just pop in and you know feel like a bit of a boost of heat, I can just put it into comfort mode. So that means then that it'll say in schedule um, and I just hit comfort mode and that's it. And you'll see there 59 minutes, it's on comfort mode. So it's gone up to, it's using now averaging 183 watts um for the to, to to get it up to 21 degrees that's what the the software within the controller is telling me that it's going to it's it's going to use an average of 183 watts to get it up to 21 degrees based on how that information is being recorded in the device and that's what's telling me um and the final thing is if i go back in here and i turn off comfort right um it this is what I see a lot of people doing. They, they, they manually just adjust the temperature, right? But see what's happened. This symbol changed here. If I go in here, it's now gone back to manual mode. So I put it back in schedule and press home. But if I adjust the temperature here, I just press down. Do you see the way it goes back to manual mode? So if I was to walk away, that would stay at, at that. That would want to maintain 18.5 degrees because I've manually touched it. It's after knocking it out of schedule mode, it's gone to manual mode. So in order to put it back to schedule mode, I need to go back in here and do that. OK, guys, there's just a few points on how I use my controller uh, in a bedroom. But then you could have a living room and you turn it on in the evening time till 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 night. Um, and that's it. So, okay. Thanks, guys.